In this video, I'll show you how to paint reflections. So as you can see, there is a mountain there. And I've just taken a color darker, relatively darker color. Just gonna drop that in. Do that just like that using the angular brush. That gives us fine edges. Okay, just like that. And something over here too. So not cover up everything. And you can slightly give it a blend. Then in there itself. Okay, and maybe over here, it will get slightly darker and over here too at the top. That is at the bottom, it's dark, so the top of the reflection will be darker. And over here too, it will get very dark. I've used some green. Okay, something like that. So now I'll bring this darker part into the lighter part of the water just like that and I'll cover up this one too a bit it's a bit too yellow and a bit over here too look at that I have a tree there so it's maybe it's gonna come off like that just like that Just blocking this in be very super loose when you're painting that but you have to be very accurate in the placement but as I run out of paint I'll get more of that texture and I like it okay and maybe some over here too just making the center look dense And I've also made the paint a bit thin. Just like that, that will make it look realistic. I'll create all sorts of shapes and stuff, give me some connections. Okay, and same over here too. And some over there and I'll give it the connection between these two just like that okay something like that yeah so now I'll just take in more of black and just you know make the top of that reflection darker That create all sorts of variation in your reflections and this one's going to be almost dark this one's going to be even dark there do that just like that so now I've wiped off my brush on the, on the paper towel and I'll just go ahead and darken this one too just a bit just a bit there so that everything fits together look at that just like that that makes it look that makes everything fit together okay and some over here too I'd have I almost have no paint on the brush And also this helps us to blend and create that realistic effect. Hmm, something like that. Now let's go ahead and drop in some light. Just a touch over there. And some over here too. And if you want to just pull up one or two ripples inside the darker part 
of the water but be very careful yeah just like that that makes it look very realistic okay something like that and i'm using the detailed round brush for this there's some dots here and there on the water is some over here too maybe some over there some water lines look at that just like that and some tap over here and there okay something like that and yeah so now with some black on my rigor brush i'll just go ahead and give the separation between the land and the water you know so something till there just blend it a bit there and some over here too so with this i come to the end of this painting I hope you have enjoyed it and thanks for watching.